Welcome to my home and today we're going to be discussing mould and mildew on ceiling and walls. So come on in to this bathroom. This is the bathroom my sons usually use. Hi there, I'm Lisa from Active Domestics and thank you for watching. So here in this bathroom it has poor ventilation and we have there is mold there is mold and mildew the mold is those really darker spots that you can see that's patchy it's it's black and green in color and then there is mildew which is sort of this general gray looking color along the top parts of the wall where the humidity rises the steam rises um, so it's particularly up on the top parts of the walls and um, on those ceiling areas so it's a little bit hard to see so I've put it in the sepia color um, to hopefully improve that but it was still just a little bit hard to see but it was quite bad there was Quite a significant amount this time. To remove the mould and the mildew, I am using vinegar. Nothing else but straight vinegar. This is just a, a one dollar bottle, two litre bottle of household hold vinegar. I'm using my flat mop, just giving it a really good soak so that both sides of that microfiber head can really absorb the vinegar. And I realized I'd better actually just let it sit and have some of the excess drip off a little bit. Whilst that's happening, I was just removed some of the things that are around the bathroom that I wouldn't want to sort of get wet. It was also give me a chance to clean some areas that I don't always clean. tried to remove those love hearts off the wall because I wanted to give it a good clean around there but no I have to use a cloth and carefully do that because I couldn't get it off take that toilet paper out because we don't want to get vinegar on that And I'm putting my gloves on. You'll see when I'm walking in and out there, I've got my non-slip shoes on and I'm walking really carefully because any sort of moisture and with tiles, you just you don't want to slip. I'm adjusting the pole of the flat mop and getting it into position. Once it's in position, I put my left hand right at the bottom of the, the mop pole so I always know where it is. This will help me to avoid banging the mop pole into the walls. And of course, I most certainly do not want to bang the end of the mop pile into the glass screens. You can see how easy it is to get there and that mildew parts came off really quickly and easily. Now, there's a problem that I'm having with this flat mop. The Velcro doesn't seem to be a very good quality. I did sew the Velcro back in, but it appears I'm going to have to get a better quality Velcro and sew it on so that I can keep it, keep its holding strength happening. It's a bit of a design fault, but otherwise it's a good mop. So I'm using long sweeping movements in the most part for cleaning most of the ceilings and the walls, but where there's a little spot of something that I think is more mould than mildew, then I am going over it again and again. And I want to get it really well soaked. I want that vinegar to soak right into that area to actually kill the spores. Now, many, many people would reach for a bottle of bleach for these sorts of jobs, but no, do not do that. Um, it was a common, it used to be a common belief that bleach was the go-to for this kind of job, but these days where all the information that I'm seeing is that all the bleach does is actually remove the color from the black part of the mold. It doesn't kill the mold despite what the labels say. And that's why it grows back so quickly. You know it does. I've had that experience in the past. 
with this, it will not grow back quickly at all because we're actually, um, we're killing off the mold spores. Um, this actually, this bathroom had um, mold growing in it oh, about a year ago and I did exactly what I'm doing here today and I was quite surprised at how quickly everything um, got cleaned up and the mold and the mildew was removed and then I um, thought to myself, darn, I should have made a video and um, so I was not terribly unhappy when I saw it grow back because I really wanted to show you all how quickly and easy this is. This video is just all in real time and the job really just took just over 10 minutes. You can see, you know, I'm, I'm cleaning all the ceilings and all the walls in this bathroom with this particular mop and the vinegar. Um, the other reasons why you don't want to use vinegar, um, not only um, because it's not actually killing the mold spores, I've heard or I've read it, um, read that mold, um, when it's exposed to bleach, um, the mold, um, the mold spores actually burst open and then they release all their toxins into the air. Well, bleach is bad enough for your health, you know. Mold and bleach are bad for your health. And um, bleach can cause uh, skin and lung irritations and mold can also cause many health issues at all. If you've just got a spot of mold growing, you want to deal with it. Because remember, mold, unlike mildew, mildew is a surface issue, mold is a much deeper issue. It can actually cause complete damage to the walls and the ceilings and, and structures of your house, like different structures. People have had to rebuild certain parts because of mold damage. You want to keep, you know, you want to respond to these signs. Ventilation, of course, is the key. If my kids didn't leave wet towels on the floor, then and always use the fan when they're in the bathroom, then this wouldn't be an issue. And then, you know, it doesn't happen very often. Um, but once it starts all growing, it seems to not take too long for it to become a much worse problem. So folks, respond. Get out your vinegar and mops. So both mold and mildew, they're both a type of fungus. Both of them love areas that have got high humidity, dampness. Although mold, mold is sort of more um, going on areas that have gotten wet. I mean, the main worst part of mold in this shower is directly up where the kids are standing, where they're under the shower. And of course, it must be splattering water into the ceiling. They're all quite tall and, and they're no doubt... Um, so splattering some water into a spot in the ceiling on a fairly regular basis. So I'm going over that particular area just above the shower quite a number of times because I really want that vinegar to penetrate. And that flat mop, really good for doing those edges there of that ceiling because you can actually get right in quite nicely. Some people actually might want to put some vinegar in a spray bottle and water it down and then you might want to add some tea tree oil or clove oil or orange or lemon oil, or eucalyptus oil, a few drops of that um, to actually help to deter the growth of the mould. Some people also like it because of the smell. I mean, the vinegar smell, um, it doesn't stick around for long. When I finished this job, I just left the door open and the fan going and the smell was gone with, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. The smell did not linger. The vinegar smell, that is, I'm talking about. So I then got a footstool and a cloth and dip the cloth in my vinegar and just using it to wipe those areas that needed a little bit more attention in those corner bits. 
The other problem with using bleach in your bathroom, like a lot of people use it to clean their showers and, and whatnot, is that actually bleach can make your um, grouting dry out and crack. And then that can make, that can then end up, you can then end up having more problems with mold because it'll just get in and grow in more places. If your mold in your is too bad, you need to get a professional. This is dangerous stuff, remember, and if it's a really bad problem, get a professional to treat it. Cuz otherwise you might just be you might be damaging your own health or you might be masking the issue and it might be causing a lot of problems to your house. So I was using the um, cloth to also wipe over all the stainless steel fixtures because, of course, vinegar is very good at helping to remove the water acid buildup. Those water stains. Bring them up nice and shiny. Whoops, the door just banged shut. So I'm getting right in there into those corner bits because, you know, I've come this far. I may as well do the job properly. Do it once, do it right. It doesn't take a lot of effort. Just be careful when you're getting up and down step ladders. You can see it's just a small step ladder and it has um, those non slip um, bits, rubber bits to the bottom part of it. So there you go, just over 10 minutes and this job was completed and you can get, you can see there, it looks lovely and clean. All those walls look lovely and shiny and clean. There's no mildew, no mold. Looks good. Pretty darn happy with that. Barely even worked up a sweat. So there, those corner bits came up really nice and those um, ceiling edges look great. There was one little area here where I'm going to have to go and put a little bit more. This was the area directly where the kids stand, where I said it probably gets wet and splashes. Um, what I'm going to do is just um, give that a little bit more attention. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you very much.